Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Day Job. I've actually been here working on this project. Uh, we're supposed to be getting freezing rain, sleet, and snow here tomorrow. We're actually waiting for our inspector to come through uh, to make sure that all the safety issues, make sure the water works, uh, make sure that the windows all lock, the doors all lock, the smoke detectors and everything work. And I want to show you guys what we've got accomplished on this place. You'll remember a few weeks ago how bad it was. I come down for a couple of days a week to go ahead and work on these things. And hopefully we'll have uh, the tenants, this will pass, and the tenants will be able to move in on the 1st of January, 1st of the year. I just put the first coat of paint on the door. looks a lot better because it was stained really, really bad. Ugh, it was terrible. Let's go in. I'm going to put a second coat on it, although it's kind of cold. Now, here's what we've done. We've gone through... I ended up building all, all these cabinets I built. The top ones actually built in 2008. Um, they are still holding up really good. And I've done the base cabinets. I made, um, I forgot to bring one of the doors to go in there, but we made the countertops here, um, which are kind of a dark color. It's a matte finish and things. Um, a nice tall uh, speaker for it, or excuse me, faucet for it. So it's easy to get pots and stuff in there. And it's deep, eight inches deep. And this is a 20 ounce, excuse me, a 20 gauge sink. So it's a good solid sink, about $150 or so at uh, Lowe's. And we made sure that the countertop edges are sealed really good with a good clear coat in there. But I love this color. This is a darker color. But when you look down at the laminate flooring, this is the laminate flooring that we purchased uh, from my carpet wholesaler. We got lucky because we literally had exactly enough. This flooring is about $4 a foot normal price. They were at the end of the line with it, and this cost me $300 for the floor. So you can see how nice it is. We made a change in here because we used to basically have this cabinet with a peninsula that came down through here, which would be fine if you had a bigger space. But this is a small living room. We still have our tools and stuff in here that we're going to load in the vehicle. But having this now open makes it a little more advantageous for people to work because the problem was basically you had an alleyway in here so only one person could work in the kitchen. This way, you don't have the peninsula to eat on bar, but you could put an island or you could put a bar on here or you can have TV trays because, again, this is a small downstairs space that's in here. But <laughs> if this was New York... This would be considered a studio apartment that would cost you a couple of grand a month. Okay, so you're looking at the floor, which, you know, coordinates with the countertop. You've got a darker version of that. You've got the multiple colors in the countertop. Same thing with the floors. You've got the knots which tie in in there. Now, you can see our carpet is very similar to the laminate flooring. Now, I do need to come back and put quarter round on here. And I have to touch up the paint as well. In fact, I'm about to touch up the ceiling up here right now, but I'm waiting for my inspector. So, and of course we have to vacuum and we'll put a door on with the washer and dryer. And so in here, this is one of the bedrooms, nice new ceiling fan that's in here, separate light and fan switch on there. Um, not a huge closet, but you have the mirrors, which also make you realize how fat you are and um, give you a nice look in here. You know, good size closet. Not huge, but still a good size. Uh, definitely love the doors. And then here we have our second bedroom. Again, same size as the other ones. Mirrored doors, couple of windows, lots of natural lighting, ceiling fan. Washer and dryer right there, stackable. Now, I have yet to paint the bathroom here, um, but it's all stay it works. Nice new coordinated light fixture there. Um, I'm going to change the faucet in here, uh, toilet, shower, so on. And then we have the master bedroom, ceiling fan, of course. Uh, a little bit bigger than the other rooms. This is like 15 by 15. A walk-in closet right here. And the bathroom. 
that I need to paint. It's a small bathroom. It is a shower bathroom. A shower bathroom that's right here. I'm getting ready to paint this after the inspector goes. But you can see the light fixture that's here and they coordinate and we're gonna change this faucet to a bronze one as well. And then a linen closet. So it's all together about uh, 1,050 square foot. And so this is a nice place for a small family. Um, plenty of space in the bedrooms, not a lot of space in the downstairs, but eventually once I end up, um, there's a garage that's on here that's 20, 20 by 18, I believe it is, um, in the back. And eventually, once I stop using that as my workshop here, I'll turn that into a living room. So that way, that first room will be a kitchen. That'll be a living space down there as well, which would make it a full-size house. Then you're talking about uh, roughly about 1,500 square foot. So this is my day job. Very proud of how well this has come through. The last tenants had kids that wrote on the walls with markers, and we had to keep spray priming with kills and uh, the dirt and the, uh, it was just bad and that's a lot my fault because I didn't check up on it and that's a learning experience that I will for now forever make sure I make up for hope you enjoyed this tour of this ho this home this house this space and what we've got accomplished and we're just waiting for our inspector to come through and then we'll go ahead and do some more painting. Peace.